We're learning new details about Palm Beach County's plan to make all of its movable bridges safer. This comes as state transportation officials also shared their plan with Contact 5 investigator Michael Butchner, who's taking a closer look at the county's plan. Michael? Yeah, Tanya, today we learned Palm Beach County is spending $2 million to outfit all eight of its movable bridges with a new artificial intelligence camera system meant to aid bridge tenders. Cato's Bridge, spanning the intercoastal waterway in Jupiter, is slated to become Palm Beach County's first county-owned and operated movable bridge to be outfitted with an artificial intelligence-capable camera system. According to the county, once installed and operational, it will continuously monitor activity above and below all eight county-owned bridges and trigger an audible warning if anyone or anything is detected. Will this technology make our bridges even safer? Oh, yes, sir. That's the only reason why we're spending the money. Palm Beach County engineer David Ricks told me the technology is meant to provide an additional tool on the bridges to monitor pedestrians, vehicles, vessels, and people under bridges in the waterway. This technology will help the bridge uh, attendants become uh, better operators. So this will utilize artificial intelligence? That is correct. To digest what's happening around? That is correct. And with the hope of trying to prevent a tragedy. That is correct. That safety is our number one priority. The county's decision to install the technology comes as Contact 5 also learned about the state's $14 million plan to install LIDAR and thermal camera technology on all of its 80-plus movable bridges statewide through 2024. The Florida Department of Transportation tells Contact 5 at least four of its bridges around the state including the 5th Street Bridge over the Miami River, are now equipped with the technology. State-owned bridges here in southeast Florida are in the initial design stage, according to the state. As you remember, just over a year ago, Carol Wright died when a bridge tender employed by a contractor opened the state-owned Royal Park Bridge in West Palm Beach while the 79-year-old walked across it with her bicycle. Following Wright's tragic death, Contact 5 also discovered other frightening incidents on bridges in Palm Beach County. As, you, as the public is well aware, last year we had multiple incidents on our bridges. And because of that, we, the county, uh, took a look at all of our existing systems and our procedures and, and realized we need to upgrade the technology. Now, the county engineer tells me the vendor supplying the system has done work for Homeland Security, the sheriff's office, and the airport here in Palm Beach County. He couldn't provide, though, an exact timeline for installation, though he told us each system has to be customized for each bridge. Of course, we'll keep you updated on the story. I'm Contact 5 investigator Michael Butchner, WPTV News Channel 5.